Good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. So it's Friday afternoon. Just got a call. I'm going to get to go put in some more hours. So what they're doing is now, I've got a class tomorrow because I have to have some training before I go to the hospital that they require. Then I'll have to go to the hospital and they have to do a TB test and there's paperwork to fill out there. They do their own background check and everything to make sure they're good to work. Great. Makes a whole lot of sense, but it takes time. So until that happens, the company is letting me make hours by working uh, some of these little truck stop casinos, we call them. Uh, they're not the big riverboat casinos. These are just the truck stops and places like that scattered around and their video poker machines. They're hugely popper, popular. And uh, I did an overnight shift last night from 10 last night to 6 this morning. It's uh, about 12.30 now, coming up on 12.30. And they just called it uh, coming up on noon say, hey, we got another place for you to go to work this afternoon, 1400 to 2200 They don't pay real well, but uh, it is the money coming in, and I am more than happy to go to it, and I am appreciative that they're giving me the chance to go make hours. But at these places, they don't pay very well, so there's a lot of young people working them. And as I've ranted about before, and I'm not saying it's all young people, but the majority of the ones I work with, I don't know why it is. Maybe it's just a business. I don't know. Anyway, they don't mind calling out. They don't mind not showing up. Whatever. So there's always open shifts at the casinos, and it's how you can make extra money. I did this many moons ago, back in 2007. And uh, I was working at a casino uh, surveillance at a real casino down south of Lafayette, Louisiana. And uh, I was living in Lafayette. And it's, uh, the gas was $4 a gallon. And I had a truck that had a 26 gallon gas tank. So every time I filled up it was a hundred dollar bill plus a little. And, uh, so to make ends meet, I did some casino stuff, uh, with this same company, as a matter of fact, isn't that neat? So anyway, that's what I'm doing again. So I'm going to do that again today. So, you know, it doesn't pay very well. It's going to put some money in though. And after being completely off and nobody offering me any work for over a month, let's work. Let's do it. Let's go knock it out. They're fun little posts. There's nothing to it. Checking temperature of people coming in and keeping up with the count because the governor, we're still under a mask mandate. We're still in a stage two um, as far as the virus stuff goes, uh, what he calls a modified stage two. But we're wearing masks. There's uh, capacity limits. You have to, like every other machine or every third machine is shut down. And they've got partitions up and everything to help make everybody safe and trying to do our part. And uh, whether you really agree with the mask mandate or not, and I know a lot of people don't, and I understand it. Uh, I'm not going to get into the politics of it because that's not what we do here. But anyway, whether you agree with it or not, it's the rule right now. So if you're going to go out places like this where it's going out and it's purely entertainment, it's not a place you have to go. You're going there by choice. You got to play by the rules, and they need someone at the front door to do that. And uh, make sure that you're playing by the rules when you come in. And uh, I happen to be good at that. So it is Friday. It is Friday afternoon. So I got to thinking, what are we going to shave with today? Because we obviously got to shave. We're going to be going to work. Uh, the scarlet I shaved yesterday morning. I didn't shave before I went to work last night. So we've got just a regular full day's growth. There's nothing spectacular here. It's just a regular, regular growth. Really sandpapery. You know, it, it's out past the sandpaper point, but it's really scritchy. So uh, we want to do something good with it. So Friday, F. Chick F. I haven't shaved with this one in a while. I just put a new blade in it. Should be great. I put a uh, Chick blade in it. I do not know how old these blades are. They could be something that's fairly recent. They could be something that's more vintage. I really don't know. So we're going to see. Hopefully they shave okay. I just put a fresh one in. Now, I don't shine this one up. It's another one of those things where I like to patina on stuff. There is a uh, fellow that post over at toast three also posted the shaved in and he uses the name 120 and a 55. he keeps his nice and shiny and he takes some of the most wonderful pictures if you get a chance swing by toast three tost3.com that's the number three go to the sos or sotd uh, forum which is shave of the day shave or shower today and look up some of his pictures it's 120 and a 55 he uses the f a lot he shines his up and the pictures are absolutely gorgeous now the only reason i have an f is because i have some incredible buddies and one of them sent me one these things are hard to find and when you do find them they're expensive because they only made them a year right before world war ii excuse me right before the u.s got involved in world war ii and then with having the metal handle all that needed to go to make you know airplanes to shoot down 
other airplanes so uh that quit i do have the case with it that it goes with just like that uh, it's all dusty excuse my dust i didn't even think about that before i picked it up to show it i do not have the original uh blade uh, magazine but uh you know i have an f and they're really good so let's uh let's do some tobacco cream today just because i like tobacco i like the cream it does really well i like using aqua Velvet musk if you could still get the uh, Barbasol musk, that's another great scent. I have some, can't find it anymore. So, you know, uh, but you can still get aqua velva musk. This is absolutely a super, super scent. I don't like it as much as the ice blue. I don't think the ice blue is the more classic, but the uh, aqua velva musk, if you haven't tried it and you're, uh, you know, you like the old, old smelling stuff, you need to try it. It is very nice. And for a brush today, another one that I reunited. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, what is this? Man, this is an Ever Ready. Uh, looks like it's about a, whoo, 650 PB. I had forgotten what that thing was. A 650 PB, which I think initially stood for Pure Badger. But anyway, it's got a, a cheap Chinese Badger in it. One of my favorite brushes that I've reunited. It really is. It doesn't look as good as that, uh, 200 from yesterday that had the black and the green or whenever I used that one last with the uh, silver tip in it from the golden nib That was one of the first brushes I redid the other day and uh, But this one is a very nice brush and that's what we're going to use today So that right there is what's going to get it on and then we're going to go out and put eight hours in at a Truck stop casino and then we're going to go to a class tomorrow so that we can get moving on stuff And see uh if we can get things almost back to normal. I've always heard the old saying, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I don't do that. That's not my rule. And I understand that rule and I understand the people that live by that rule and that's great. In Fuzzy's world, if life gives you lemons, you take them, you trade them in for limes and you make margaritas. That's how you live. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, so a little tobacco. Now I've, uh, I've put cream on the top of the brush here lately. I put it on my face here lately. I actually prefer to just take the, the cream and just kind of spread it on the face. This is tobacco, of course. It's just a big old bucket of German goodness. That's the best way to explain this smell. It is not a tobacco leaf smell. It is a floral scent. Some people call it Granny's Old Purse, you know, but whatever. It's one of those polarizing scents. You know, you either like it or you want to send it to the polar cap somewhere and just be done with it. But anyway, some people like it, some people don't. I understand it, you know. A lot of people say bad things about it. A lot of people say a lot of things, you know. What's it matter? Not what we're here for. We're here to shave, right? All right, I like the tobacco. It's almost as polarizing as lilac vegetal, the veg. And anybody that's used to veg, that is 110% goodness, but the veg chooses you, you don't choose the veg. So there's people that really like the veg, there's people that really hate the veg. There's basically nobody in between. Now, because I said that, somebody's gonna come up in the, uh, someone's gonna come up in the comments and they're gonna say, well, you know, I mean, that's not true because I kinda like it, I can put up with it, it's not my favorite, but I could do, no, no, no. No, 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 you just flapping your jaws. That's all that is. You either like it or you don't. That's all there is with the veg. You don't choose the veg, the veg chooses you. Fuzzy's chosen. Has been for a while, I like it. Anyway, that's a story for another day with the veg. We'll use it here before long. Today we're gonna to use the uh, aqua velva musk. All right, so get enough water into the uh, tobacco, tobacco can light water. And uh, we are using a uh, shit injector, so we kind of want to uh, get a good slick layer, but we don't want it to be a real thick layer. Uh, not real thick, not super dense. Uh, nice and slick layer is what we're looking for as far as the, uh, and that right there will about do it. Man, that little, that's just a really cheap, I think I give like, what was it, 12 bucks for that knot or something like that. And it's been one of the really, one of the best uh, little badger knots that I have. All right, well, uh, surprisingly enough, the Schick F shaves like a Schick. There's not any big secrets to shaving with it. 
at all. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a really nice blade. Like I said, I don't know if it's a vintage blade or if it's a newer blade or what it is, but I don't really care. All I care about is that it works. There's a lot of things in life that way. All you care about is that it actually works. So, for the record, Fuzzy has officially had enough of Walmart's BS around here. I am going to try as much as I can, as long as I can, to not spend a single dime with the local Walmarts. I'm gonna do everything I can. Went yesterday, day before yesterday, must have been yesterday now, and it was uh, 11 o'clock, not 2300, not 11 at night, 11 in the morning. Show up at the Walmart over here, the local neighborhood Walmart, which is their version of a grocery store. And all they have open is the uh, self-checkouts. Now, Fuzzy made a total butt of himself and cussed some. Use some good words too. I didn't use the little words. I used some good words. People are gonna get smart with it. And when I complain about them not having open, they're gonna tell me that's just how it is. And eventually they're going to nothing but those open and I just, you know, have to deal with it. Nah, I don't. I really don't. I've got other choices right here. Now, it's really, really hard to stay away from Walmart. Walmart's kind of like a black hole that sucks you in. But they're always going to end up being something and you're going to want to go do it. But there are other stores still and I'm going to try to utilize them, especially grocery stores. We actually have a grocery store that's kind of local to this part of the world called Roush's. And I'm not a fan of the Roush's store. It's a huge store. They've got everything in it. They got the seafood. They got the deli. They've got all the prepared stuff that they fix. They've got the meat department. But everything is at higher prices because you know, it's one of those family-owned places, and that's how they do it. But they do not have a single self-checkout. And every time you go in to check out, they always have several registers open. And if there's a really long line, they say, hey, some of y'all come up here, we'll check you out at customer service. And when you go to their customer service, they have a cigar humidor. Now, they sell cigars that's got more price on them than I want to pay. But they do have a good selection of what they have. Their customer service is top notch. I'll give them that. I don't, for some reason, I just don't like that store. I'm gonna like it for a while. That's just all there is to it. They they much teach customer service. Their cashiers try to get the rings up, keep the speed up. I mean, I think Walmart has contests to see who can get the least rings per minute and uh, keep you in there the longest. But, uh, you know, and look, look, I do not in any way, shape, form, or fashion do I think Walmart could care less if Fuzzy comes in and shops with them? They don't care. I don't spend enough money anyway for it to matter. I don't think it matters. That's not the point. Point is, I don't think I have to put up with customer service like that. You know, I think I did too, across the grain, sitting here running my mouth. I'm not gonna widen the film back and look, but I bet you that's what I did. And guess what? That's gonna be just fine. That ain't no problem at all. Well, something else I did yesterday, uh, it was actually, yeah, before I got mad at Walmart. Uh, no one, no one, I take that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was before I got mad at Walmart. I uh, was out running around. Agent 007, y'all may remember him. Uh, young man that stayed here for a while. You'll be happy to know he's doing well these days. He started a new job today. Uh, pretty proud of that young man. He is actually, once school goes back, he'll be working with a program, and I can't remember the name of it. But he'll be working with a program that helps kids in school. And you work with them throughout the school year. They pay uh, college students some money throughout the year to go into one of the local schools. I believe it's going to be the high school. And help students who are needing help with their studies and things. And then at the end of the school year, you get so much towards, like it's like a scholarship you get towards your college work. Well, he got hired on for that, which is great. But until school starts, he didn't have you know, a job going. So he actually started a new job today himself. So he needed some stuff, so we're out running around. So if you may remember, I had the, the master bay rum that my brother had brought me from his barbershop, but he had dropped and broke the bottle. So he just put it in a, a generic 
bottle. This is Dr. Tishner's. Well, this is a Dr. Tishner's bottle that is actually still a little bit of the masters in there. Mastery. No, yes, yeah, just Master Bay Rum. And, uh, you know, that was great. I really appreciated moving to me. I actually like this scent. It's a really nice, just simple Bay Rum. Anyway, so while we were at the store the other day, I found a couple of these. They've actually got the hole in the middle and they're little jars. And I'm still going to try to get the label off but it's not gonna fit on this bottle. So I'm probably just gonna either, I'll figure out how to mark the bottle. But anyway, they got the little hole in the middle orifice up there. Isn't that just the neatest thing? So they had two of them. So I got one for the Bachelor Bay Rum and I got one for the Witch Hazel. Look at that. That is just the neatest dang thing. I'm telling you. They get some more in stock. I may buy some more and put some other stuff in them. But I gotta figure out how to, uh, how to mark them for what they are without it, you know, getting wet and coming off. It may be, I don't know, stick on letters, and then if they do peel off, you can always put another letter on or something. Uh -huh. Maybe a paint uh, will work. Maybe a paint marker. Uh, 007 actually is, does a lot of drawing and stuff, and he's got paint pens and stuff. So maybe he said one of the paint pens might work. But anyway, it goes. I thought that was pretty neat. All right, let's get this cleanup pass done. And then we're going to have to jump in the shower pretty quick. It was kind of short notice getting out to... Uh, this site, but like I said, I'm appreciative that uh, I'm getting the hours now. As limited as the pay is, anything's better than nothing. Anything is better than nothing. So, uh, you know, if we're working, let's be appreciative of it. Now, I've also noticed that everywhere you look around this town, there's we're hiring signs. And I thought I was just gonna have to go and uh, just pick up a job doing something to keep food on the table. But I was lucky enough that this came along before I got that desperate. Pretty close though. So there are people hiring. So maybe, uh, you know, some people can go back to work and things be a little bit better for them. That's what we're hoping. Well, there we go. Check that out. Another beautiful chick shave. The F, when you do find them, yes, they're expensive these days. Fuzzy normally would not have a razor that was on that expensive list, but I've got one because I've got good friends. And there we go. But once again, to my friend, my buddy, my pal, appreciate you for the F. We do use it. It is a wonderful shaving razor, like all the chicks. I know some people talk about different chicks do better. This one's more efficient than that one, whatever. Okay, that's great. They're razors. I don't particularly see a whole lot of difference between the shave and the F than I do from an E2 or a G, with the exception being that I've got an E2 and I've got a G8 that have a lot more blade feel to them. However, the shave is still the shave. Shave the shave, blade the blade. But uh, so you can have different blade feels and stuff, but uh, the F is a chic shave. If they're great and they're simple. As you can see, it does not take long to knock one out. Drink a little coffee, flap your jaws a little bit. And you're done. And you're done. All righty. Well, there we go. So I'm going to plug Toast 3. I've already put it in a conversation. Well, hello, Miss Luna. How you doing, girl? I've already put it in conversation once today. We're going to put it back in the conversation. www.tost, the number 3.com. That's Toast 3, the original safety 3.com. And uh, a lot more about single edge injector shaving. Uh, there's also links there that go back to the original Safety 2 and to the original Safety, which are both read on the archive. Absolutely metric tons of information there if you want to get into this shaving. Uh, yeah, so, you know, that's what we're doing today. That's how we're rolling. That's that's what's going on. Uh, you know, we're, we're big pimping around here right now. We're back to work and, uh, you know, Got a class tomorrow, and then we can start getting the stuff with the hospital sorted out, I think, is what they explained to me. Hopefully, that comes through really quick so we can get there because it does pay better. But uh, anyway, thank you. I appreciate y'all watching. All seven of you, number seven, we'll be waiting to hear from you like I always do. And uh, there we go. Y'all have a great day. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you. Good day.